everybody, Mr. M here, and it is time for math. You guys have done so much stuff this year so far. We've been doing number binding and patterns and counting up and counting down. You've been great. you learned a lot. Today we're going to go on to something new. But it's going to involve those other things. Because this is what we do in our math class. We build on what we already know. We're not just learning random things. We learn some math and then we learn what we can do with it. So we're going to learn some more counting. Now some of you can count, most of you can count over 10, but do you know how to write it and do you know why? Well, let's look at this. Let's start with this. Something you can do. What's that? That is the number 1. Count with me as you do the rest. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hmm. That's, that's 1 to 10, all right. We're going to change this up a little. There's another number that we're not talking about here. Because we don't count with it. You don't start counting with it. Because it's the number that you have before you have anything to count. What's that? Before you get 1, and you don't have any of anything, you have... Let's move these over. 0. And we're going to keep that here. Why? Why is 0 important? 0 is... Very important. First, before I can show you why, we're going to sort of move these over to the side. That's better. It's a little more squished, but it'll work for what we're doing. This is 1 to 10. So now what, this is 0 to 9, and we know what the next number is, right? Because I said it before. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're out of room, so we're going to put it up here. 10. What is different about the 10 and all those other numbers? Anything? That'd be something. What is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those are simple. They just have one number. One, and that's what we call a digit. Any of these things is a digit. That has how many digits? So one and a zero, there's two digits. Mr. M, why do we use two digits to show 10? Okay, well, we're about to find out because, well, we're out of room. We're out of digits. So we have to do something. There is no digit for 10, so we put a zero, and we start over again with a zero. We put a one in front of it to show what? That there's a 10. There's 10 of these things. 10 plus zero is 10, right? 0 plus 10 is 10. So how, what comes, what number comes next? I think most of you know the name. How would you write it? The number is what? 11. And what does that look like? 1 is a two-digit number. 1 and a 1. Hmm. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, That's weird. Do you see the pattern? I see a pattern. Well, maybe you don't see it. Let's cover up the ones for a second. In, in, do you see the pattern? Yes. The last digits are the same as the one digit numbers. Huh. Well, we only went up to 19. What's the next number? Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. What's a 20 look like? Well, 10 is a 1 and a 0. 20 is a 2 and a 0. So here we go. So the numbers in between 10 and 20 are all a 1, and then the next number. What is, this, what is this number here? It's called what? 13. Why is it called 13? What does that sound like? Thir, first, second, third, third, three, third. Third, so three, the third was from three, three and ten. 
18. A long time ago, and in some languages still today, this is called 3 and 10. In English, it's changed over the years, and so now we just call it 13. 14 is 4 and 10. 14. 5 and 10, 15. 6 and 10, 16. And so on. And 20 is twen, two tens. So here we go. These are the numbers. Um, 1 to 10, which you already knew. 11 to 20, which you maybe didn't know, but now you know. And now you know why. So there's going to be a little worksheet after this. You're going to just do some 1 to 20. I'm going to ask you some questions about what number comes after this. All right. So you go off, do your worksheet right now, and I'll talk to you more about this tomorrow.